My orca is muy tranquilo. Everything moves a little slower. You kind of feel like you're in some sort of paradise, <laughs> which it is. It's a unique perspective, and I feel like there are many different worlds to Mallorca. Mallorca is known for its deep water soloing, but there's all of these limestone sport cliffs that are absolutely stunning. And the climbing is really fun. The Pimientos de Padrón, quite possibly my favorite thing about Mallorca. Favorite thing. You hike up these windy trails past old farms, and then you hit this beautiful orange wall that's just covered in tufas and these incredible features. Our personalities have all come out a lot this trip, I think. Literary climbing puns. Okay, so I had to get into some earnest stemming ways in order to get a William Shakespeare so I could stave off that pumple still skin. <laughs> we just created this like amazing little girl posse where we were able to go out and push ourselves and also have an amazing time. Paige is one of my oldest climbing friends. When we were still frenemies, but <laughs> it was about eight years ago. I remember when we started climbing together, I was so threatened by her because at the time I was winning comps and she was up and coming. The thing that strikes me about Paige when she climbs is that everything seems effortless and I feel like she has this gauge of efficiency where she knows exactly how much energy she needs to expend and she just executes. There's this calm confidence to her that is really, really beautiful to watch. When Paige climbs, she's very calculated and precise. And I feel like I've seen that reflected in her personality as well. She's the one keeping us on track, on schedule. Paige is definitely, sometimes she can, she's the motivator. It's really, really nice to have that in a group. There's this comfort level that was a bit unexpected. You guys. <laughs> to just be able to laugh and be goofy and expose who we really are around other women who we can share these qualities but also learn from in so many ways. So I think I was the one that decided that we needed to have a hashtag for this trip. We couldn't really come up with a good one so I just put it out into the world of social media. We don't have a hashtag for a girl's trip. Anyone have any ideas? And then I got all these responses and one of them was a hashtag Sladies do Spain. So we outsourced it. Sladies encompasses that each of us have this fierceness, but also feminine qualities. Because none of us are really all that girly, even though we like to be feminine or something, but we're also like incredibly strong, confident women. Sladies, it just has a ring to it. The water is very salty, uh, but also soft for landing on. <laughs> suavecito? It's suave, suavecito. <laughs> Emily's climbing style has changed a lot over the years. When I first started climbing with her around eight years ago, she climbed with this very consistent, smooth, static style. But now she climbs with this vigor where she just launches between holes. I'd never tried it because everyone kept telling me that there was a really big move, but I decided to try it today anyway, and I did the route on my first try. Look at how cool we look. Oh, <laughs> mini socks. Mine are full on. Emily is not timid. 
she just sieges. There's no hesitation. She isn't afraid to try something new. She isn't afraid to do something that she hasn't done before. I think I'll always remember this trip and hope to do more in the future. Don't you have to do things to all of them? They have to be pickled. Oh, you don't just eat them. You can't just eat them? And you picked a green one. Yeah, because I thought it was different. I thought I might have a better experience than she did. A trip which is just women doesn't happen very often. To be able to experience Mallorca in the way that we're experiencing it, by climbing, by taking these falls into water, it's a unique perspective. Margot's like this fierce, impressive climber, and it's almost like she doesn't know it. She's this incredible, authentic person. Not too close, it's too obvious. <laughs> too obvious that you're with the flower. Sorry, I'm so, I, I'm with my mom taking it. I'm like, uh-uh, okay. And then she just sieges up the wall. The heel hook was round one, that was on the onsite, but then I had the wrong hand there, so I need my right hand on the little tooth. But now I've got some new big dog. When I watch Margot climb, all I see is fierceness. So I find it to be really inspiring and I'm still learning from her. Like every day that on this trip, it's been like, oh my God, that is so cool. I, I want to be like Margo and I go up. <laughs> <laughs> I do say that actually. <laughs> I feel so lucky to be here climbing with you guys, and I feel like every time I watch you climb, I can learn something. It's really, really cool. Margo's doing art. She's doing her art. I'm her canvas. And to have the chance to get to know them better, I feel like we've really bonded and developed these pretty meaningful relationships, I think, and these pretty valuable bonds with each other that I don't, I think I'll always remember this trip. Should I tell my jump roping pun? Nah, it's not that funny, I'll skip it. I would tell you my chemistry pun, but I probably wouldn't get a reaction.